Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from KCBC. This is KCBC Robot Fish IPA. So this is their smash beer as in single malt and single hops. Uh, so they use single malt, single hops, and then they uh, switch them around. I remember working at the brewery and uh, getting a first taste, uh, actually, uh, Pete, one of the brewers, uh, st uh, st uh, st uh, stepped by and he's like, hey, try this uh, new beer we have. And I was like, what is this? Okay, it smells familiar. And I was like thinking in my head, is that Amarillo? And he's like, oh yeah, by the way, this uh, is hopped with Amarillo. So it was really fun. Anyway. Enough with that, about that story. What is this? So this is not quote unquote really single hop. This is Pearl uh, Veterans Blend. Oh, so, sorry, Pearl Malt and uh, Veterans Blend. So Veterans Blend is a um, special hop blend of Mosaic Simcoe Cashmere Centennial Equinot. So 6.6% IPA. I will say I did try this at the brewery. It was absolutely delicious. So very excited to see how this digs into the can. Oh, yeah. So. The beer comes in a beautiful um, light to medium gold color, a little bit of orange hue on there, just rich, saturated, kind of like a uh, sunny D OJ kind of color to it. Uh, medium plus haze, not completely opaque. This is really beautiful looking haze. I mean, that's just gorgeous right there. Yeah. Beautiful white head. Let's get it on. Oh yeah, that smells good. Wow. That Im immediately sends me to Hill Farmstead. Yeah, that's Hill Farmstead right there. Yeah, you give me this beer. Uh, this beer. I immediately go, Susan? or No, I go Edward. I go Edward. Yeah, full blind. This is fully Edward. Uh, it has this kind of light doughy malt character to it. Uh, I will say that, Zach, uh, one of the brewers is using um, Conan yeast or Vermont ale, whatever you want to call it. Wow, they've really zoned in really well. That's insane. It is... That doughy malt, it has that beautiful light citrus note to it. A little bit of gummy bear candy. Almost like like light tic-tac, orange tic-tac note. It's just so expressive of that soft, doughy, intertwined with citrus that, and, and light melon notes, uh, melon cantaloupe. Yeah, that's straight Edward slash Susan for days. I mean, I literally cannot tell the difference. Maybe on appearance, I think that beer might be lighter and less hazy, but cheers. Ooh. I remember being impressed at the brewery and now reminded of Hill Farmstead. I realized sitting here with a can. Wow, what we want. Have we gotten to that point? where we don't have to go to Vermont anymore. I mean, I've been like two, three times this year, but not exactly there. Not exactly there, but getting close, guys. Scary close, too. It's that light white grape character. Some, again, a little bit of honeydew note. That doughiness comes in. Light touch of that water treatment. It almost has a t light touch of salinity to it. It's beautifully dry. A little bit more dough character on the back end. So it's actually semi-dry, completely lacking in bitterness. It has such a distinct, like light apricot, I want to call kind of like fruity ester to it that probably is the yeast. And that's probably where they uh, got it to be similar to um, Hill Farm said, yeah. The fruits are well integrated, really nice and subtle. They're not in your face and they're just so stone fruity that like just it's just so much hill farms that is like driving in this glass if you gave this glass to me two years ago i would bet as much money as i could that you cannot think of any brewery in the country that could possibly be produce a, a beer of this quality of this specific note of hill farms that i'm now i'm sitting here with a glass of hill farms that in a kcbc can and i'm just really confused about what's going on I really need a Hill Farmstead beer right next to us because there's nothing else I can say. And I, all I can say is just huge co compliments to um, uh, KCBC about this. It's a little bit orange rind jumping in. Again, it's really just beautiful, subtle notes of uh, citru uh, citrus, tropical, stone fruit, and they're beautifully interwoven. They're wonderfully subtle. 
and they're, it's got such a soft palate to it. The malt is just a little bit doughy and a little touch of like biscuity sweetness just to push up those fruity uh, qualities on this one. And the, the water sort of like sits on the palate a little bit, but not everything's exactly there. Cause like, you know, what's the point? Like, why would you want to produce? I mean, maybe you do want to produce a beer expi explicitly just like Hill Farmstead, but this is pretty much as close as you can get. And this is by far one of the closest beers I've ever had that tastes like Sean Hill's beers. That's insane. That's insane. That's um, that's a 98 right here. That's a 98 Robot Fish. Uh, oof. This iteration of Robot Fish, I believe it's 12 or something like that. Anyway, this is uh, Robot Fish Pearl and Veterans Blend. Um, I don't want to say this has to be one of the best hazies I've had all year. Um, I can't say anything better about this beer. Honestly, I've had a bunch, uh, not too many, but uh, a handful of the Hill Farmstead beers this year, and um, I can't say they're of this quality. Uh, honestly, I can't. So um, the hoppy beers are just not this good. So this reminds me of what Hill Farms had tasted for me like a handful of years ago. So this is absolutely insane. Um, I don't know what to say. Shout out to uh, the team at KCBC. You guys killed it on this one. So until next time, guys, cheers. Highly recommend it. Please get some. Later. <laughs>